Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new All-Star Moments cards that just came out on the database, and we're going to look at their stats and badges and tell you guys which cards from this set are worth picking up and adding to your guys' squad. But before we get into the video, if you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below. I post three to four My Team videos every single day and give you guys some of the best My Team content on the platform. So without further ado, let's get on. The video as you guys can see by this players on the screen we got curry we got garland mobley jared allen Cade, obi Toppin, cat precious achua and we got jason tate so let's just start with jason tate see what he's looking like these will be in packs coming out at 11 a.m eastern time and you can pull all these cards in packs power for small for six foot four that kind of sucks for the small four position six foot eight the main problem with him is defense is really good but that's being six foot four he has shifty dribble style which is nice so he's gonna be a really small ball small forward but he looks honestly solid good three ball good speed really good defender good rebounder which is nice good ball handle good speed with ball has some really good hall of fame defensive badges this card's gonna be a really good defensive card just the only problem is he's six foot four if he was six foot seven six foot eight this would be a really really good card especially because he has that shifty dribble style is he worth picking up probably not i think there's just better small forwards and power forwards especially because he's six foot four so i'd maybe stay away from jay sean tate but he looks to be a really good defensive card next we're gonna look at precious achua he's a center power forward six foot eight seven foot two wingspan he's got 84 three ball 83 mid-range 89 speed 89 acceleration defensively solid he's got 92 block 89 interior 86 perimeter 84 steel very good overall defender has 95 driving dunk 95 standing dunk good offensive and defensive rebound good ball handle good speed with ball you're going to want to play him at power forward six foot eight is just way too small for center at this point when we got guys like yao ming and will chamberlain and joel Embiid who are all seven foot one seven foot six so you're definitely going to want to play him at the power forward position but he's fast enough to play the four so that's good you can play him at the four defensively has some good hall of fame badges interceptor rebound chaser hustler chase down artist has hall of fame quick first step you can get every shooting badge in the game which is nice so this card probably worth it for you like a budget power forward i'm not sure what it's jump shots really looking like base 100 not sure who has it it may not you may not have the best jump shot but if you're looking for a budget power forward he may not be terrible so i definitely look to go pick up a chua if you guys are looking for a budget team or a budget power forward next year we got pink diamond Cade cunningham unfortunately he can't play point guard but shooting guard small forward six foot eight seven foot one wingspan He's definitely tall enough to play the shooting guard position. Just would have been nice if he could play point guard. He's got 92 three ball, 88 mid range, 88 speed, 88 acceleration. Defensively, not the best. 75 steal, 69 block, 69 interior. Just not the best defensive card in the game, which kind of sucks. But him being six foot eight definitely does make up for that. 80 driving dunks, really good. Good ball handle, good passing stats, which is nice. Has some pretty good goal defensive badges. Uh, pick dodger, um, interceptor, hustler, clamps, chase on artist, pass hall of fame, bullet passer, floor general, and some really good goal playmaking badges. Quick first step, handles for days, hyper drive, glue hands. Got some good hall of fame shooting badges. Hall of fame catch and shoot, clutch shooter, dead eye, difficult shot, to rhythm shooter, sniper, has goal, blinders, chef, core specialist. Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, Limitless, Spot Up, Lucky Number 7. This Cade card looks solid, but the only problem is he has slashed a dribble style. His jump shot is on quick, which is nice to see. That's definitely a good jump shot. Um, Yeah, Cade's jump shot's really solid, actually. He has a good, a good jump shot. The only problem is that he has slashed a dribble style. Is Cade worth it? Probably still. He's probably still worth it for like a budget shooting guard. He'll still be pretty good. Now onto the Galaxy Olympics here, we have Obi Toppin. Obi is a six foot nine power forward center, seven foot one wingspan. He's got 87 three ball, 87 mid range, 88 speed, 88 acceleration. Overall, great defender, 85 block, 84 steel, 87 perimeter, 87 interior. Not a great, def not an amazing defender, but he's definitely solid all around. He's got 99 driving dunk. He obviously won the dunk contest. That does does make sense you got good speed with ball good ball handle decent rebounding has hall of fame pogo stick gold clamps interceptor intimidator rebound chaser hall of fame quick first step hall of fame catch and shoot corner specialist set shooter has gold green machine hot zone hunter sniper he can get some pretty important shooting badges like dead eye like limitless spot up obviously has really good finishing badges because again he won he won the dunk contest big dribble style definitely does hurt the card is he worth it is should you should you add him to your squad probably not i mean he'll be solid he won't be an amazing card he'll definitely be solid though um he'll definitely be solid so next we're looking at galaxy cat though center power forward six foot eleven seven foot three wingspan 
I'm actually pretty looking forward to look at this car because yeah, 98 three ball, 92 mid range, 85 speed, 85 acceleration, 87 interior, 90 block, 82 steel, 80 perimeter. Good driving on, good standing on, good rebounding, can handle the ball pretty well for a center. He's got Hall of Fame blinders, catch and shoot, corner specialist, dead eye, limitless spot up set shooter and sniper. Even has some other pretty good gold shooting badges, had gold quick first step, glue hands, bullet passer, has Hall of Fame interceptor, intimidator, post lockdown, rebound chaser, rim protector, and worm. Cat looks to be a really good card just as how does he compare to his other galaxy Silva card but honestly this card looks amazing like this is a great center in the game just got to see like how he compares to his other galaxy Opal. but this card is 100 worth going for looks to be one of the best centers in the game next year we're going to look at jared allen he's a center power forward six foot eleven seven foot five wingspan did they give him a three ball they gave him an 82 three ball, which is nice. 88 block, 83 speed, 83 acceleration. Obviously a great defender, 97 block, 95 interior. Good steal, good perimeter defense, good standing on, good driving on, great rebounder. Just look at these Hall of Fame defensive badges. Hall of Fame box, brick wall, chase runners, interceptor, intimidator, post lockdown, rebound chaser, rim protector, right? Gets gold clamps, a playmaking wise, gets bullet pass on gold and quick first step on gold. Shooting badges only comes to gold catch and shoot, corner specialist and set shooter, but you can give him five or six. I think he's got so you can him six shooting badges if you want right blinders limitless spot up if you want to do dead eye green machine hot zone hunter sniper right you can add whatever kind of shooting badges you want to him jump shot not the best jump shot but it's not terrible honestly it's a solid base and with this upper at least 31 yeah it's not the best jump shot in the world but for a big man he's a solid big man i'm gonna say he's worth picking up to your squad he's definitely solid nothing crazy but i think someone who's just gonna be a better center is gonna be evan mobley power forward center seven foot tall seven foot four wingspan 87 three ball 88 mid-range 87 speed 87 acceleration defensively great on the interior 95 block 92 interior 89 steel or 88 steel 89 perimeter defense so an amazing defensive card 80 drive dunk 85 standing dunk can even it can even handle the ball pretty well for your center really good hall of fame defensive badges ankle braces clamps plus or ankle breakers clamps Interceptor, Intimidator, Menace, Pogo Stick, Post Lockdown, Taos Defender, Gets Gold, Ball Stripper, Rim Protector, Rebound Chaser, Chase Down, Pass Hall of Fame, Bullet Passer, Gold Dimer, Gold uh, Bailo, doesn't get Bullet, or he gets Hall of Fame Bullet Passer, maybe want to give him Quick First Step, which he can get, which is nice, comes with Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot, Corner Special, it's a Limitless Spot Up, Set Shooter, Gets Gold, Hot Zone, and Sniper, but like Jared Allen, you can give him whatever shooting badge you want, if you want to give him Blinders, Dead Eye, green machine you can definitely give him that and mobley has a great jump shot if you guys remember that uh amethyst evan mobley jump shot was really good so this is just gonna be a souped up amethyst evan mobley which is gonna be really nice he is definitely gonna be worth adding to your squad he's gonna be one of the best power forwards or centers in the game honestly i truly believe he'd probably be a top three top five center in the game now looking at galaxy with darius garland here he is a point guard shooting guard six foot one six foot one wingspan I mean, if you want to know what the card's going to do, he's just going to be a great three-point hunter. The only problem is, the only problem is just his defense. Stats wise might look okay, but being six foot one, I think at this point in the year, it's just too small, especially with a bad block and a bad interior defense. But if you want a guy just to have fun with and you just want to like, you know, go shoot threes and, you know, just be a really good dribbling, you know, really good three-point shot, be super fast, have good jump shot on quick, Damon on quick's really nice, have the quick dribble sell this is the card for you right but if you want a card that's actually going to win you games and help you improve your squad garland probably not the best person to add but like i said if you want to have fun definitely go add Darius garland to your squad final card here the all-star game mvp stephen curry galax opal he's a 98 overall point guard shooting guard six foot three six foot three wingspan obviously steph curry 99 three ball 97 mid-range 94 speed 94 acceleration defensively 90 perimeter 95 lateral 92 steel Pretty good driving dunk at 70 is not bad. 98 ball handle, 94 speed with ball. We look at the shooting badges. Obviously, it's Steph Curry. Don't really need to explain all these shooting badges. You guys can just see on the screen how many Hall of Fame shooting badges he does come with. Limitless spot up, dead eye, green machine, corner specialist, chef, of course. Literally a badge named after him. Catch and shoot, blinders, has Hall of Fame quick chain, gold quick first step. Like this card, three hunting is just super good. Gold clamps, hustler, intercept their pickpocket. Obviously, Curry got a great jump shot on quick. Got his dribble style, which is super nice. So, I mean, Steph Curry... I don't know how much he, I don't know how good he will be with the point guards we already have like Lonzo, Harden, Jalen Rose, Ben Simmons, right? But we'll have to see how good he actually plays and how different he is from his other Galaxy Opal. Because if we quickly look at his other Galaxy Opal, like just quickly look, it's pretty much the same card. Not gonna lie to you, it's pretty much the exact same card. Um, if we're not gonna lie, it's pretty much just a copy and paste. 
so we'll have to see how much better it is on that one but um yeah so those are the new cards the all-star moments cards those are the cards i'd recommend adding to your squad let me know who you guys are gonna add to your squad and i hope you guys did enjoy catch you guys in the next one peace